versus printed circuit boards. So, so today, a lot of the consumer electronics is built on printed wire boards. Everybody familiar with a printed, when I say a printed wire board, what that is? Okay. Yes, sir. And we, if you look around, and I have a unit, an EHF 200 that's in assembly over there, you'll see it's all discrete components and it's all point to point wire. And you say, well, why do you do that? And there's two reasons, okay? The first one is a simple one, and that's repairability. It, 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 we offer a lifetime warranty on our amplifiers, but if you're in, you know, uh, India, and your amplifier goes bad, and you don't want to ship it back to us for repair, a skilled technician can repair this amplifier. You don't have to worry about damaging the printed wire boards, not being able to get the components. <coughs> They're ultimately serviceable. That's the first reason. The other reason is current density. Um, what makes, how do you define, when you hear an amplifier and you say, geez, I love that amplifier, what are the characteristics you listen to? The characteristics that I find that most people like in an amplifier are what they call, it's a, it sounds musical. Okay, and what makes an amplifier musical is its ability to respond to transients, okay? Single tones in an amplifier are a simple test, okay? What you really want to evaluate an amplifier on is its ability to <laughs> amplify a large signal in a very short period of time. And there's a number of factors that drive that, okay? And, and in, in the music world, that could be a cymbal crash, okay? That could be the felt on the keys of a piano. How many times have you listened to recorded music of a piano? And it sounds great, and if you listen to the piano sitting in the bar next to the piano, you hear the felt on the keys, mm -hmm. right? Why? Because you're hearing transients that have harm, because these are such short duration, they have tremendous harmonic content, overtones, okay? If you're not reproducing those overtones, you're not getting the, the complete picture of what the musical note is. Current density is in the amplifier design business is what, is what gives you the ability to do that. And by using point-to-point -point wiring, I can use heavy gauge wire, that piece of green wire that's going around. That's the typical point-to-point -point wire we use. That's 18 gauge wire. You cannot get that on so you will run into current density limitation for printed wire board. I don't care how many ounces of copper they put on it, I, you cannot get the current density that I can get in a circular conductor of 18 gauge. You mean it's so acting as a resistor? The, the circuit board's acting as oh, a resistor? Where you don't want a resistor. It just cannot handle the current density. Okay. When you try to push that much current through it, it starts to limit so, that current. So it's compressing the, sorry, the, cell, so the signal. Right, so the uh, so point to point wiring gives me the ability to control the gauge of wire that we use. Okay, so all our audio either goes through coax at the low signal level or it's going through 18 gauge wire. Our ground planes are built with 14 gauge wire. Okay. Now the control signals are 20 gauge wire, but there's there's no effect on the audio signals. So that's, that's why we choose to stay with point to point wiring. 